Alright, so when you open up the car, just open up the four screws over here, which I already did. So, as you can see, the batteries are in. Just take out the shell of the car. Then the frequency is under this circuit board. Alright, just take out the screw. And be careful not, not to uh, cut off any wires on it because it will make the car functional. So this is the this is the control. Yeah, inside there's a screw here. I don't know if you can see it clearly. So yeah, so inside there's a screw here for this is the one to change the frequency. And then same goes to the remote control. So where you can see, okay, this is the working one. Uh, so I'll just show you. So you just take, take out the screws, right here there's just four screws here also. So once you take out the screws, the inside will look like this. Same thing, there's a frequency adjuster here. So it's the same thing. So what you need to do is... They are both adjusted to the same frequency to work. So... As you can see the words are... Uh, at the same direction here so what you need to do is just take one of the flat flat head screw and then you can just you can just adjust it in the same direction okay so let's say you twist this to the right like three times maybe one two three All right so it's still on but you can see the frequency is already changed okay so repeat the same thing over here like you hold hold the front forwarding button and then just hold it and then just twist it one Two, three, right. So now it's back to the same frequency already. Right. You need to hold the button while you twist it because you need to make sure you get it to the right frequency. Because once you, if you go to the wrong frequency, it won't work and you won't be able to find, won't be able to find back the frequency of the car. Okay. So yeah, this is it.